It's Friday. Last day of work in the work week? Maybe. Getting ready for the weekend? Maybe. Going to solve a crossword puzzle? Yeah, let's do it. It's the Friday puzzle. Here we go. Uh, Malika Handa and Eric Agard are the co-constructors, the team, the collaboration, the dynamic duo. I am Steve. This is Solve with Steve. Let's solve this puzzle. Here we go. Sitcom joke with a change in setting. Don't know. Uh, hollow, perhaps. Don't know. Uh, what plastic wrap is designed for? Sealing food? I don't know. Want to be starting something? No, something. I don't know. Is it zesty liqueur? I don't know. Not following, maybe. I don't know. Lift up. Guess what? I don't know. Raise. How about that? Uh, ra ah, raise. Part of a paw print. Toe? Is that what they're called, the little pieces of a paw print? I don't know. Surname that's also transliterated as Zo. 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 Zo? Like, Zo? I don't know. Cautionary conjunction. <laughs> Buzzkill's response, would, would you, playing, would you rather, I, I'd rather not. No. Um, neither. Oh, neither. That's a lame answer. Lame. On, say, I don't know. Bird named for a titan. Uh, bad mouths. Okay, what is it? Glam rock pieces. Uh, I don't know. Literary stand-in for Christ. Literary stand-in for Christ. I don't know. This is looking very bad for me. I don't I don't think Toe is right. Because uh, this could be... Uh-oh. Wait. Where's, where's my... Ah. Come on. Type. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, part of a paw print. Maybe it's not ho. Let's see. Um, hee-haw, or maybe it's yee-haw. Let's do that. Theater initials, S-R-O, maybe. Uh, fruit calls are called a wax gourd. I think that's a pomegranate, and it looks like it fits. It does. Woo! Okay, now we're rolling. Coral arrangement. Um, bouquet? Nosegay? Oh, that's floral arrangement. Sorry, coral arrangement. Um, without the H. It's not like the music arrangement. I don't know. Uh, reef, no. Ghanaian city, that's an anagram. So it has a T, and it's a city in Ghana. I know Accra is the only city I know in Ghana. I'm sorry. Uh, I get to learn more. System for servers. Uh, Unix. King of verse. King Lear, how about that? Zesty liqueur. Don't know. Amaretto looks like it almost fits, but it doesn't. What plastic wrap is designed for? I don't know. Evapor... Not evaporation, right? It prevents evaporation. Let's see. Sitcom joke involving a change in setting. Ah, I got nothing. Um, part of a paw print. No, no, nothing. Okay, here. Glam rock pieces. No, nothing. One eating a lot of wings. Hmm. Like a, it's like, a, like some sort of a predator. I don't know. New York Liberty is a team. Um, text that's often an exaggeration. Don't know. Where do all these keep coming from? What the... No. Uh, let's see. I think I can see a future with him. He's so... I don't know. Dreamy. Um, turning points. This is tough. This is Friday. It's, this is like Saturday difficulty. Oh, boy. Asian rap. How about a sorry? Um, panels at anime conventions... No. Blank Voss, no way in German. Uh, nicht, nicht, yeah, I don't know. Um, bird named for a titan. Rhea, right? 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 Yeah. Uh, French film director Varda, range just below 55 down. 55 down, C24 down. Great, that's not helpful. Um, a but tenor, and it'll be just below alto. Let's go with that. Yeah. Their vocal ranges, I'm going for it. They fit the numbers. Um, Mitchell, Pretty Little Liars, don't know. Cautionary, conjunction. Less, but I don't know. Panels at anime conventions is like manga. Maybe Pomegranate is wrong. No, it's so long and it fits. Gil Scott Heron poem inspired. Um, that's the thing about, like, slip the surly bonds of Earth. Something about the moon. Walking on the moon. Something on the moon. On the moon. Walking on the moon. Giant steps are what you take. That's the police. That's not Gil Scott Heron. 
Times up, they say. Da, 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 da. This old thing, no way. Tomorrow's another day. I don't even know if those are lyrics. Okay, world capital, whose last two letters are its first two letters upside down. And I have a T there, and a T, lowercase, is not anything upside down. T, lowercase, could be a T. Um, but, oh, man. Okay, uh, like M could turn into a W. Oh, man, okay. Yeah, curing agent, I don't know. High key, I don't know. The first five count number, Ux, Cas, Nelly, Vis. Look, could be Swedish? Oh, where? Sweden? Denmark? It looks sort of, looks sort of Nordic, Iceland. But it's where, it's not a location. It's not a language, it's a place. Finland, none of those fit. Hmm. Knife cut, I don't know. Uh, is it Tet? Tet's a seasonal, and that Nguyen is, uh, is uh, Vietnamese. It's always a seasonal celebration. I'm guessing that's the full name of Tet. All right, major lobby in DC, how about the NRA? Uh, lead into mail or box, I don't know. Lover of Rochester is Jane Eyre. Uh, on the Acker River, world capital. I'm going to need more than that. Acker River? Acker? I don't know. Scar Line Roar? Maybe like Scar the Lion from The Lion King? Uh, priceless in a way. I don't know. Participates in a Seder. Dips. Not once, but twice. Uh, deification? I don't know. Let's see. Sounds of uncertainty. Errors. Yep, that works. Um, why do we dip not once, but twice? Uh, okay. Uh, poetic Considerations. Um, maybe it's sips, like you sip something, or maybe it sups because it's a, it's a, it's a dinner, um, because it's a supper. Poetic considerations would be meters, yeah. Select words, I choose you. Pikachu, I choose you. Sexy selfie, posted on social media in lingo as a something trap. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Estonia, maybe, that could be Estonian. Uh, which kind of look is close to finish, right? So it's not a pomegranate. Dang! Uh, but so many of the letters seemed to match pomegranate. Oh, maybe Estonia's wrong. I don't know. Uh, one maybe order con todo. How about a taco con todo? Give me one with everything. Uh, world capital, Moscow is the O M and the uh, and the O W. How do you like that? Okay, that works. Mouthy is oral. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's not. It's a watermelon. No, it's a something melon. Um, so it's not walking on the moon. Something else on the moon. Thirst trap. Thirst trap. Uh, I don't know. Uh, translation of Torah means the law. Um, let's see. On say lit like the candles are the the uh, the the light is on. The light is lit. Yeah. Uh, ach ach was. Uh, thirst trap? Sexy selfie is a thirst trap. Whites on the moon? Uh, that's the title of that. It can't be right. It can be right, isn't it? Is it Reese Mitchell? Is that right? Bird names. Oh, wait. What's this? Panels at. No. This is manga. Um. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It can't be. It can't be whites on the moon. Whitey on the moon? That's no better. <laughs> okay. Cautionary strokes, lest, lest we forget um, something melon. Okay, maybe this isn't raised. I don't know. Coral arrangement is an atoll, right? Um, lift up is exalt. And then this X, system for service. It is Unix. Um, so Zest, or King of Verse, how about King Cole, <laughs> not King Lear, a different kind of verse. Um, <laughs> Zesty or Limoncello is a Zesty liqueur. <laughs> None of these are right. <laughs> My entire, entire, just erase them all. Just cut them all out. Just get rid of them. Okay. <laughs> Ghanaian City, it's got to be Etma or Tema. Um, sitcom joke is, is cut, so this is Tema. Well, plastic is that one time use. How about that? Uh, sitcom joke cut and uh, cut away. Winter melon. There's a wax score. Theater initials AMC. They make uh, it's, it's a brand of movie theaters. Okay. Uh, cut away. So it's yeehaw. 
cutaway cam cutaway I don't know this is looking for go this is looking for better a cutaway gag how about that Aslan oh yes Aslan the lion for a lion witch in the wardrobe is uh, is a Christ figure yeah yeah glam rock pieces are geos oh they're glamorous they're rocks paw print is a pad oh that's what those toes are called they're pads okay I like it bad mouths um don't know don't know I uh, won't eating a lot of wings. I don't know, but we got that. Is it whites on the moon? Whitey on the moon? Um, maybe it's like Whitey Ford, the pitcher, and the landing on the moon. And he put them together. Uh, but Shay Mitchell does sound right. I'm going with Whitey on the moon. Totally looking that up after the fall. Whitey on the moon? Winona LaDuke uh, ran along with uh, with Ralph Nader, was, uh, was his running mate. Yes, she was. Man known for his morals is Aesop. Oh, yes, the NEA, also a major lobby, the National Education Association. Yes, Teachers Union. Yep, 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 not the NRA. All right, I was thinking the wrong side. Okay. Uh, Oslo, Norway, how about that, is a world capital on the Acre River. Priceless, uh, noteworthy? No, not, not, I don't know. Deification, uh, apostle, apostolism? Uh, way more than near as oft. Uh, apa, is it apoptosis? No, that would have a P there. Um, still not apoptosis. Uh, let's see. Do one tomorrow. The puzzle's gonna have apoptosis. Uh, deification. Apothecary. That's not right. Japanese mass drama is no apothecary. Can't be. Uh, deification. Like you make something a god. A apotheosis. That's a, totally a word, right? I think that's a word. I know that's a word. It's got theo in there for. Uh, for, for God, uh, the, the Greek version of God, right? Deo is uh, the Latin version. Okay, priceless in a way, not for sale. Uh, looks over eyes. Sacktown. Is that in Bali? Is that in Mali? Is it in Cali? Oh, Sacramento is in Cali, California. Um, I was born by the river in a little tent. I don't know that song. Uh, Sam Cooke, let's see. Lead into mail or box. Voicemail or voice box. Middle section, ah, the torso, the middle section of the body. Uh, knife cut, I don't know. One eating a lot of wings. Something vor. Insectivore. That's what that is. Ah, eating a lot of wings. Yes, if you eat insects, you eat their wings. Knife cut, I still don't know. Oh, edit? I don't know. Sledding sight, no. Sledding sight is a hill. Oh, knife cut is a slit. Ah, uh, so this is slit here. Provider of a broad world view is an atlas. You can see all the places. This has got to be relic. Uh, this old thing is a relic. Uh, is it Agnes Varda? Curing agent. Yes, use salt to cure uh, to cure meats. Okay, we're getting there. Where do all these keep coming from? I don't know. Uh, why the? Where's the room? Bad mouths are sneers. Okay. Turning points. I still don't know. Division of Comcast. NBC. Uh, high key. Uh, it's an arc? High key, I don't know. Lump is a gob, maybe? Uh, this looks like serious. Oh, it's serious. I think I can see a future with him. It's serious. Ah, oh, that's clever. That's a good one. Uh, not following, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know something hollow, perhaps? This totally feels like a Saturday puzzle. Oh, man, we're in trouble tomorrow. This is Friday. Where do these keep coming from? Um... Cut the room. What's where's the room? Is this room? This can't be room. Lump is a is a hub. Is a nub. It's, I think it's a nub. Uh, high key. Oh, escape is a high key on the on the keyboard. It's up top row. Um, another one. Where are these going from? Another one. Okay, hey, that's pretty good. Two good colloquialisms. I don't often like them, but these two, uh, I like them. Okay, hollow perhaps is a a, a wood a veil, but that's V A L E. Or a Dale is a D A L E. Uh, on to something. Uh, not following, maybe. Oh, I'm lost. I'm not following this. Turning points are rotors. Hollow, perhaps, is a lair. L O L is an exaggeration. Because sometimes you're la you text L O L and you're not literally, literally laughing out loud. And by literally, I mean <laughs> if you're not literally laughing out loud and you say L O L because it's funny. That's a good one. Wow, this was a tough puzzle, but it was good. There was so much good stuff. Thank you very much, Malaika and Eric. Well done. And Will Short for editing. Uh, but, you know, uh, woo, this was jam-packed. I'm, I'm impressed with that. I, that. I thought it was pomegranate based on 
none of the letter I guess the R wait P O M E G R so I had the R no yeah and this is pomegranate it was winter melon okay um well first of all thanks for watching I'm going to look some stuff up because I totally want to learn these words I, it's, it's late but I want to do this um I'll pay for it I'll pay for it with not enough sleep but I'm, I'm, I'm doing it um so if join me if you will if you got to go start your day I get it you know we're busy it's Friday we're going to get stuff done but I'm totally looking things up because this is there's interesting stuff in here that I never knew it's time to look these things up so all right um let's see I've heard of limoncello I'm not going to look it up it's a type of liqueur um uh, Whitey on the Moon <laughs> is a poem. Oh my gosh. Whitey on the Moon. Gil Scott Heron. Yep, Whitey on the Moon. Wikipedia. Spoken word poem by Gil Scott Heron. There you are, Gil Scott Heron. Ninth track on his debut album, Small Talk at 125th in Lennox. Recorded over simple drum accompaniment, medical debt, high taxes, poverty at the time of the Apollo moon landings. The poem criticizes the resources. Are you black? I guess you are. I can't really tell. He's got a fro. I think he is. Okay. Um, it's a name I don't know. Criticizes the resources spent on the space program while black Americans were experiencing social and economic disparities. Whitey on the moon. That makes sense. We spent what? We sent Whitey to the moon. Okay, yeah. Jamaican African American descent. Influenced by Langston Hughes, Malcolm X, last poet, okay. Eldridge Cleaver, who argued the space program was intended to distract the U.S. from problems within, like bread and circuses, huh? Made uh, many people feel good about America, but, you know, he's got a good point there. All right. A rat done bit my sister Nell with Whitey on the moon. Her face and arms began to swell, and Whitey's on the moon. I can't pay no doctor bill, but Whitey's on the moon. Ten years from now, I'll be paying still, while Whitey's on the moon. You know, he's got a point. All right. A volcanic upheaval of intellectualism and social critique. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Thank you for teaching me that, uh, Malaika and Eric. Yeah, Malaika and Eric. Okay. What else are we looking up? Estonia, the Estonian language. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to look that one up. And we have Estonia and Oslo, Norway. So we're definitely, um, you know, up in the north, the Baltic, uh, Baltic Sea type area. All right. The Acre River. Let's look at a, at a map of Norway and see. Uh, map of Norway. Norway, which, how about, uh, how about this one? Oslo is, uh. Very low. So it's not on the Baltic Sea. Oh, silly me. Um, Estonia. There's Estonia on the Baltic Sea. Oslo is on the North Sea and the Norwegian Sea. And, but that's not a good one. How about this one? Um, let's see. Can we get uh, view the image? That looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Norwegian Sea. We got the Baltic Sea. And... Here's Oslo, and there's a river. Definitely, that, that's totally a river, uh, River, the mouth of a river. All right, let's go to Google Maps. Um, ah. No, I'm not going to go to Google Maps because then I'll dox myself. All right. Um, nice try. Anyway, map of Norway. Eh, it's probably not too hard to dox me if anybody really wants to. Uh, oh, this one's nice and clean. Uh, let's go to that one. View image stamp a day wordpress.com. Oh, Oslo Fjord. Cool. I guess this would be the Acker River. Lillehammer, they had the Olympics there. Um, there's Bergen. Um, here we go. So, the Oslo Fjord is right there. And then I guess this would be, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, cool, there's a Gulf of Riga. I didn't know that. And a Gulf of Finland. And the Gulf of Bothnia. All right, all our arms of the Baltic Sea. That's kind of cool. And here's Estonia. And here's the North Sea, yeah. And there's the Baltic Sea, right. Okay, so Sweden is on both the North Sea and the Baltic Sea. Uh, fin uh, Helsa, uh, Finland and, uh, and these guys are the Baltics. 
but then we get to the North Sea is Norway, and Denmark is in between. I don't know. Does this count as this count as being on the North Sea? Sweden might not be. All right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? We got. There's a lot for this. Apotheosis. I heard the word. It has to do with Theo, um, not like Theodore, uh, but Theo, the the Greek root for for a god or a god. So so apotheosis. I'm looking that one up. Apotheosis. Yes, apotheosis. Um, the high point in the development of something that has nothing to do with deification. Um, his appearance as Hamlet was the apotheosis of his career. Um, also called deification or making divine. The glorification of a subject to divine level. Now, wait, this word and this word are totally different. Culmination or climax does not mean the same thing as making something. Glorification of a subject to divine levels or abstract idea in the likeness of a deity. Meanings of theology. Okay. The deification of the self. Oh, and there was also a film by John and Yoko. Okay. Long deceased heroes linked with founding myths of Greek sites. Philip of Macedon accorded himself divine honors. He put himself with the gods of Olympus. Interesting. Okay. Uh, ancient Rome, they did it. Ancient China, they did it. And North Korea. Ancient North Korea? Or just North Korea? I don't know. Uh, oh, Kim Il-sung instituted worship of himself. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Instead of apotheosis, ap ap apotheosis, Christian theology calls it deification. So that's it's literally it's a uh, it's a synonym. Uh, or the Greek word theosis, not the apo. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, what else? There was so much in here. A thirst trap? Never heard of a thirst trap. Sexy selfie. I hope I don't get any inappropriate. Uh, uh, okay, thirst, uh, thirst trap is a type of social media post intended to entice viewers sexually. It refers to viewers' thirst, a cloakism like an sexual frustration to dehydration. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, I get it. All right. All right. Originating around the early 2010s. That's a long time for social media. Okay, I never heard of a thirst trap. I have been on social media since the year 2010, but I didn't know that one. All right, anything else? I think those are some good ones. Uh, we had Tenor and Alto joined together. Agnes, Varda, I'm, I'm not going to look you up. I'm sure you're a worthy person. Um, okay, I'll look you up. Agnes Varda. Uh, let's see. How, where do you rank in the Agneses? You're not on the top list of Agneses. Ag are you number one Agnes V? You're the number two Agnes V. All right, not bad. Not bad. Um, by face, you don't look familiar to me. You're a French, Belgian-born French film director. Um... Don't think I know any of these. No. One of the gods of cinema. That's high praise. Perhaps it's Apotheosis by Martin Scorsese, huh? Huh? Referring to her as a god? Yeah? You like that? See what I did there? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. I, I, can't, I can't top that. It's time to go. It's time to go. Um, so I'm not going to do another one. No, I'm not. Uh, um, okay. That. Oh, Insectivore. That was clever. When eating a lot of wings, not not buffalo wings, not chicken wings, but actual insect wings, because you're an insect eater. Oh, I gotta look up winter melon. I totally want to know what a winter melon is, and then we are done. All right, what is a winter melon? Winter, winter park, Captain America, no. Winter M, winter mute, winter mint, winter minster, winter melon. There it is. That is a winter melon, also known as a wax or an ash gourd. Commonly in Chinese and Indian food, popular in soups. Okay. Doesn't really look like a melon. I mean, I can see it being a gourd. It looks more like, a, like an eggplant type fleshy, uh, but I guess it's got those seeds. Okay, they call it a melon, I'll call it a melon. Why not? 
And that is the end of this puzzle video for today. Uh, we learned a lot. This is trivia jam-packed. Um, so I learned. So thank you to the constructors for creating it. Uh, and thank you to the viewers for watching this. Uh, and thank you to Will Shorts for editing it. Why not throw those thank yous out? Um, but this was fun. Uh, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And then you'll, uh, you'll get the notifications. And... Uh, that's all I gotta say. But no, thank you for watching. Um, this was a this was a good one. This was tough. This was tough. And this was Friday. Tomorrow, Saturday. Usually it gets tougher through the week. Usually it's supposed to. That's the plan. So if this was Friday, ooh boy, buckle your seatbelts, folks. I know I'm looking forward to tomorrow's puzzle. I hope you are. Uh, if you can join me for the video, then I plan to do one. Why? because I enjoy it. That's why. All right. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in the future. Bye-bye.